Welcome to Quick Kappa. Over four videos, we'll be covering what you need to know as a small business as you prepare for the end of financial year. In this video, we are going to explore the STP finalization process. My name is Sakshi, and I'm a customer success specialist. And I'm joined by my colleague, Chris Grama, who is the payroll experience lead. So grab a drink and join us for Quick Kappa. First thing first, Chris, can you explain us what is finalization event and when does it need to be completed by? Thanks, Archie. So basically what a finalization event is, is a report that you send to the ATO to let them know that you're finished for payroll for the year. It's an STP report, so just the same way uh, or the same type of report that you've been sending throughout the financial year. It's just letting them know that's it for the rest of the financial year. Uh, in terms of when it's actually due, uh, it depends on how many employees you have and what type of employees you have. Um, so if you have 20 employees or more, it's actually due by July 14. Um, if you have 19 employees or fewer, um, you've actually been provided an extension until July 31st. Um, if you have what is known as closely held employees, um, additional extensions may be available. Now we do recommend that um, if you do have closely held employees um, to visit the ATO website for more information uh, or call them if, you, if you're unsure of whether you may be eligible for that extension. So now, I guess that we know what it is and when it's due. Sachi, can you take us through how to complete this in QuickBooks Online Payroll powered by KeyPay? Yes, sure. To complete a finalization event, you will click on the employee tab and then go to the reports. Now we do recommend to complete an update event before you start the process, the finalization event process, um, to make sure that the year end figures for each employees match with their detailed activity report. Once you're comfortable with the figures, you can then go under the HR reporting and select single touch payroll. You will then click on start finalization process, select the financial year, and then select the pay schedule, hit next. It will show you all your employees so that you can then match these figures with the detailed activity report that we did before. It should match because you've created an update event. You will then, uh, you can also export this under the action tab. Once you are happy, hit next. You will notice that I don't have reportable fringe benefits um, here, but you can see that if you've forgotten or if you want to add on a, at an ad hoc basis, you can just add and save and then hit next. Then you have to declare that you um, that all the figures are correct, tick the box, and then lodge finalization event. You can go back to dashboard. And yes, we've completed a finalization process. So now I'm going to go back to Chris. And Chris, we, we heard a lot about the JobKeeper payments. So would you be able to tell us if we've recorded the JobKeeper payment, would our finalization event look a bit different or how would it impact us? Yeah, so thanks for that. And the short answer is no, but there's an if or a but. Um, so basically, it doesn't change the way you would complete a, a finalization process. But one thing to be very mindful of is is before you complete um, a finalization event, you you should make sure that any outstanding JobKeeper top-up payments, JobKeeper payments, have been made to your employees. So be extra mindful of those JobKeeper payments that are due in June um, because um, you don't want to complicate things with the ATO. So that's all. Make sure you've done those June payments and um, you'll be good to go to do your finalization process. Thank you, Chris, for the information. It was really helpful. Now, if you guys are looking for more information, it is also provided on our community page and the link provided below. So thank you for joining me and Chris. See you next time with our new quick cup of video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.